Today is Monday, the 1st of November, the year 2021. This is an adult audience only video. This is about the gang stalking of targeted individuals. I want to share a story about a woman who is a victim of what this program calls gang stalking. It's basically just criminality. It's deviant sociopaths. The woman had to travel to Florida. While she was there, the gang stalking criminals threatened her. If she didn't become a prostitute, they threatened to kill her family or to kill her. There was one point where somebody actually showed up where she was living while she was down in Florida. The entire time that she was in Florida, they tried to human traffic her. They tried to sell her on the dark net as a wife, as a bride, to people who use the dark net to find brides for family members. How does she know that? She said that when she was out, there were husbands and wives following her around. She could hear them. Holy Spirit of God revealed to her what was happening. Those people who are not from America were shopping for a family member for a bride. And then at one point, the actual prospective person they were shopping for showed up. The entire time she was in that state, the state of Florida, she was harassed as a human trafficking victim. They use what's called voice to skull technology to send threatening messages. They came into her home. Every time she left, somebody came in. More recently, she returned home. This is why I wanted to share this video. <clears throat> so that area of the world is very wicked, Florida. I just want to reiterate it, it's very wicked. God said, it's gonna flood. In fact, the vision that I had, our king, he's just gonna put his foot right on the whole peninsula and shove it underwater. It's, it's gonna be that bad. It is so wicked. It is so wicked. There's just no, anyhow. The person, uh, she returned back home and she was out doing things that they do, you know, shopping. She said that while she was at her regular place shopping, a couple shows up from the same country as the couples that she encountered when she was down south in Florida. When she first saw them, she dismissed it. But you know, it's like this insight that Holy Spirit gives you this warning message. And you realize that there's a potential, I think, for things not being the way that they are. This is what she expressed in this video. And we kind of all do that because we want normalcy, right? It's not every person that you meet believes is part of this stuff we're going through. So she left and she went to this other place. And this is a place that she's only been one other time. And who is standing there on the phone staring at her as she's driving up and talking? The woman in this couple staring right at her. And... She's at this place, as, as she said, that she rarely goes to. She just found it to pick up something. So you might wonder if you're new to this information. Gang stalking of targeted individual uses technology to track people in so many ways. They know where you are. They exploit you. The woman states that when she was in Florida, she thinks that this all started because she took a picture of herself sent it to a family member, and the criminal network in that end of the world, in, under that principality, used that picture, put it on the dark web, the black net, to sell her. That's the reason why I'm making this video. 
She was not on the internet. She just took a picture from her phone. And that was what they used. Holy Spirit made her aware of it. So back to more recent things that took place. Over the last week or so, two weeks, she's been waking up with unexplained pelvic pain and the evidence of something that shouldn't be there. So the person lives alone most of the time. And she recalls that there was one night she was in her room, door closed. She thought she heard the front door of her apartment open, but she knew that she had locked it. She went out there to check and it was locked. So this information is very sensitive. And I just wanted to share it to expose what's happening. I feel needs to be documented, what's taking place, this criminal network, what they're doing with what they call technology. It needs to be exposed. In the Word of God, we are warned that the days that we're living in will become like the days of Noah, where violence and wickedness was so bad that God brought upon the entire earth a flood and only preserved the lives of eight people because the wickedness was that bad. That's the time we're living in. Pray over all matters. Pray over your home. Make sure that you're safe. You're doing everything that you can to be safe. If you live alone, it may come down to you just have to stay home if you can. You may just have to spend more time not being out in the public. If you are encountering events as I've described, you need to be in prayer about it so that Holy Spirit can direct you to do what you can to be more secure. Romans 10.13 says that all who call upon the holy name of God, Yehovah, will be saved. You're not alone. The Holy Spirit of God is here for everyone who calls upon him to be saved, everyone who's being victimized by this program. Everything that you hear about, that you're listening to on the internet, Pray over it. You want to have the Holy Spirit direction on the matter. May the Holy Spirit be upon your life and guide you during these times so that you can stay on the cramped road to life and bring honor, praise, and glory to the one true God, Jehovah, and honor our King, Yeshua. Amen.